See this? This is my boomstick! Hi everyone, Boomstick here from Renegade Racing. Today we're looking at the Ashton Martin Valhalla concept car special event. And we'll be taking a look at stage seven, which uses the Ashton Martin Vulcan. Taking a look at the conditions, finishing the race will get you a class A plus red event pack. You'll get 30k credits for collecting nine nitro bottles, 50k credits for beating a race time of 40 seconds, a blueprint for beating 39 seconds, another 50k for beating 38 seconds, a blueprint for beating 37 seconds, 50 tokens for beating 36.5 seconds, and a final blueprint for beating 36 seconds. All right, let's go. So my Vulcan isn't quite there yet, um, but uh, it's still gonna have enough speed. The course is Waterside, which is quite short, and collecting the bottles is the name of the game. So there's a little bit of drifting here, and it's a little bit deceptive on what you should do. Um, sometimes it's better not to use nitro, just so you've got better control of the car for steering into the nitro bottles. Um, but we'll go through what I consider to be a standard route now. But you do need to adjust your route if you miss a bottle. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna hold on to the nitro and pop this guy at the start, and then just steer clear of the AI. We've got a little bit of uh, near miss there. We'll pick that one up and just Holding that nitro there, we'll drift into that bottle and then trigger our shockwave. Going back into blue as we go through that one, we're gonna head over to this side now, just drifting a little bit to line up for this yellow bottle. And then we'll trigger a shockwave and that shockwave's made me miss that bottle. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna go right down this section just so I can get enough bottles um, because if I went off the normal ramp, I wouldn't have got them. And we just got the time as well. So that's probably a good lesson in adjusting your route uh, to suit how many bottles you did pick up um, but I think after I uh, after we get through these collections what I might do is actually do another run and demonstrate a faster route for those of you who have a slower car and also it's not quite easy to get that turn there at the end that I just did uh, to make up for my folly of triggering a shockwave and missing that bottle anyway <laughs> Got to keep things honest, people. All right, here we go. Let's go through it now, and uh, I'll give it another shot. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll do the proper run. <laughs> Take two. Here we go. So yeah, uh, it's it's always good to be able to be agile though when you're playing these events, um, so you can minimise tickets. Um, but just be just be counting those bottles in your head if you can while you're doing everything else. Help sometimes to count them out aloud as you get them. Here we go. I'm just gonna hold it a little bit longer here and then pop that guy and just steer a little bit clearer of these AIs. And there we go. So I'm gonna get those two, hold on to the nitro as per before. We drift into here and I'll trigger the shockwave. Drifting and triggering another shockwave. And we'll just do our drift and just that lined it up a little bit better. Now I'm not gonna shockwave here, I'm just gonna drift into this bottle. Then I'm gonna shockwave. And now we can just cruise over the line here and we should get a much better time. Uh, notice that you do jump over that la the first bottle on the dock there. So a little bit faster that one, so that might help those of you who have a uh, not so ranked up uh, Vulcan. And there we go, we've still got the nine ball condition. <laughs> All right, everyone, um, hopefully that's gonna help you. Um, you can use either of those routes and it will work. Um, but uh, probably the second one is the one to try to go for. Um, just just take care that you, you, you do need to steer. Um, and if you're having a whole heap of trouble, just split it up, go for the time and then do the bottles after. All right, everyone, good luck with it. If you're new to the channel, please give me a like and subscribe up there. And if you've got any comments, I'd love to hear from you. You're probably all having a laugh at what I did in the first run anyway. Bye for now.